Hi, I'm Carol Kibble. Now, some years ago, I left the rat race. I left safe salaried employment to become a professional artist. And I now divide my time between painting for galleries and exhibitions and tutoring. I do demonstrations and I run workshops for art groups and societies across the southwest of England and South Wales. And I also tutor on painting holidays, which is something that I absolutely love to do. And my preferred subject is wildlife and my favourite medium is most definitely artist soft pastels. So today I'm going to produce a painting of a giraffe and I'm working on pastel fix today from the Hanamula pastel range. Now I'm going to start with the background of the giraffe. I have a couple of greens and I'm using them on their side. So just very roughly at this moment adding the colour around the giraffe. I'm using a light green here, but I'm going to use a dark green as well to create some more interesting camouflage sort of background. You see I've drawn out the giraffe already and I've drawn it using a pastel pencil. Never do your initial drawing with a lead pencil as the lead tends to repel the pastel. But on pastel fix, the pastel pencils work beautifully. So I'm going to blend these areas together now with my fingers. If I need to add any more pigment on, I can do that. So you can see the pastel blends really easily on pastel fix paper with very little pressure needed. I'm not going to lose my fingertips today. See already that's given a sort of camouflaged effect. Now I'm being left with a silhouette of a giraffe. And I'm going to add a little bit more of a, a deeper dark to give a little bit more contrast. And I'll show you the reason for that in just a second. Now another little technique I like to add when I'm doing a background is to create some circles of sunlight. I'll show you how you can do that. It's a very simple technique, but it adds a little bit of interest to your backgrounds. So using the light green again, I'm just creating some swirls of green. I'll make them fairly random. And I'll just push the pigment in a little here, and I'm going to add a little bit of light to these as well. So you'll see I'm adding another layer of pastel here and Pastel Fix will take multiple layers before this paper becomes saturated, which is obviously a benefit for doing little effects like this. So now I'm happy with that background, time to move on to the giraffe itself. I'm actually going to start by putting some white around the eye. So I'm working very carefully around the eye, so I just leave the actual eye area exposed. As a portrait artist, one thing I always like to do fairly early on when painting an animal is to paint the eye. Now this gives some character to the animal. So let's see if we can bring this giraffe to life. So you see you're able to create a nice line with these pastels without the stroke breaking up at all, um, which you couldn't do with a more bobbly or textured paper. I'm now going to start working across the giraffe from left to right. Because I'm right-handed, I tend to work left to right and then downwards. And in that way, you don't spoil the work you've already just done. So I'm going to start by putting in some of the light areas. So I'm looking for the lightest, the brightest lights I can see, um, like the front of this horn, this ear, and all the markings in between those brown patches. So the next area I'm going to work on is the mane. Now I'm going to start with this beautiful rusty orange tone. And I'm just doing pure strokes of colour here. I'm not worried about blending for the mane because it's actually nice to see the strokes in the direction that the mane grows. Uh, as you can see, I am layering, and this is my third layer. I'm probably going to add another layer of pastel on top of this. This pastel fix paper will probably take about five layers of pastel 
uh, before it'll become saturated. So it's really good for this sort of layering technique. So now it's just a matter of using the same techniques throughout the painting of the giraffe, concentrating on one area at a time. I've painted today using the steel grey. Now Pastel Fix comes in six shades and there's 12 sheets in the pads and three sizes of pad available. But I thought the steel grey would be the most suitable today because if the grey does show through in this giraffe painting, it will actually add something because of the light tone. Whereas if I'd chosen a darker tone paper, it wouldn't have worked half as well. So I'm just looking really carefully at this area around the mouth, which is actually quite interesting. And I'm picking up my Conte stick just to add some finer details. This is pastel fix works really well with your Conte sticks and your pastel pencils, as well as your soft pastels. So there's our finished giraffe on pastel fix steel grey paper. So just to recap, this pastel fix paper comes in six different shades. Each pad has 12 sheets and there are three different sizes of the pad available. It's got an excellent tooth, allows plenty of layers of pastel and lines are easily possible. It's a good paper weight, so the paper doesn't buckle under your fingers when using the pastel on it. And it holds the pastel gently but firmly, so it's not creating a lot of dust.